Morning! Welcome to the 24 hour readathon portion of the Irish Readathon. I've been having such a good time in this readathon. I have enjoyed so many great books and I'm hoping I'm going to read more books that I love during this bumper day of reading. I am not going to be trying to read for 24 hours in total. In fact, the time has already passed where I would be able to do that. If you are one of those people who is able to stay up for 24 hour readathons, I commend you. I am not that person. I did not do anything impressive like stay up super late past midnight last night and I did not get up super early but I am dedicating a lot of time to reading today. I want to read, I want to read well and I want to be chilled cozy vibes only. I didn't want to get to the point where I was like exhausted and just like plowing through books and not enjoying them and not taking them in and just not having a good time. So I would rather dedicate my day to reading and it be like good quality reading, which is what I'm hoping to do. If you watch my reading catch up video, you would know that I am reading The Importance of Being Ashling. This cover is filthy. I should really like clean this with a cloth. I'm 10 chapters into this now, so I haven't read loads, but it is one of those books that you can read like super quickly. So I'm wondering if I can smash through this this morning and then move on to the next book. Let's see how we get on. just realized I've built walls a mile high to protect my heart but now I'm all alone stuck on the inside the heart doesn't need a castle it needs a bridge been so scared that I unravel brick by brick I built these walls now I know that So I've got about 100 pages left to go. I'm on chapter 31. The Ashling books are such a strange one because I'm like, I'm reading it and I'm feeling like this isn't good, <laughs> but I'm still having a nice time. <laughs> it's just like very low stakes, not stressful. As we follow this young woman returning to her small hometown, trying to figure out what she wants to do with her job, trying to figure out what she wants to do about her boyfriend who the spark has kind of gone with. And there are so many references scattered throughout this book to try and make it like hashtag relatable, like particular Irish brands or places or shops or Irish celebrities, like particular makeup brands that she's using. Like it's all orchestrated to make a reader go, oh my god, she's so me. And I feel like Ashling is so not me. Like, I don't think we would be friends. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm enjoying reading it. I did put up a poll on one of my previous videos on my like reading update video asking you guys to choose what I was going to read next. And I think once I have finished this, I'm going to go look at that video and see what you picked for the next ebook that I should read. But I'm going to go make myself another cuppa and quite excitingly, I'm going to order a Mackey's. If you came here expecting, you know, traditional Irish cuisine, I'm giving it to you. A McDonald's. I also need to do my laundry, so I might do that as well. So I'm not quite sure how much of this I'm going to get read between now and it arriving. So I'm going to see how much I can get through anyways, and then when the Mackies arrives, I'm going to watch some Dairy Girls because I have watched Dairy Girls multiple times and it still holds up. It continues to be funny no matter how many times you watch it. Is it really, is it really love? Watch me march towards the battle I'm gonna tear on this castle I'm gonna tear on this castle I'm gonna tear on this castle My Mackies has taken way longer than I thought it would I'm very upset. <laughs> but it does mean I finished the book. It continued to be fine, but I am kind of just tempted to plow on and read the third book in the series because it is just such easy breezy reading. But I'm not going to do that. I have checked the comments in that video and the majority of you have voted for me to read Out of Love by Hazel Hayes. So that's what I'm going to do while I continue to wait for my Mackies. I did once try and read this book already and I don't know why I stopped reading it. There was nothing about it that I wasn't enjoying. I just feel like I got 
distracted by life so I stopped reading it. So hopefully, I think I read about a quarter of it maybe, I think that first quarter of reading it will be quite speedy. Anyways, let's crack on. <laughs> when we were younger and we used to think about like what the most amazing thing in the world would be and the idea of McDonald's delivering was like mind-blowing it was like when McDonald's delivers that will be the future and now we just take it for granted So I think I remember why I stopped reading this book. Oh, it's just, it's so real. If you've ever experienced a heartbreak that feels like the rug has been completely pulled out from under you, um, yeah, this is gonna, this book is gonna make you feel some shit. I'm literally only 10% through it and I'm like, oh, this is so real. <laughs> I've only got half an hour to go before our live reading sprints for the Irish Readathon. It's the first live show that we've ever done for the Irish Readathon, but it's also the first live show that I've ever hosted, and I'm not the most um, technically savvy person. I feel like I know rationally there's actually nothing difficult about it, but because I've just never done it before, like I've been on live shows, but I've never hosted one before. I feel like I just, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I've read about a third of Out of Love now and God, it is hitting me in the field. My first reaction when I started reading it was immediately to be on like the side of the young woman, if it's picking a side in this relationship or in this breakup, I suppose you don't need to pick a side. But immediately, because it's from her perspective and because I'd been through like devastating breakups before, I was like just immediately with her and immediately saw a lot of her response to the breakup in, in parallel to ways that I had reacted to breakups in the past. But as we get further into the novel and I guess further back in the relationship history, I'm starting to realise how messy and unhealthy the relationship was from both sides. I'm going to read some more of it for the next half an hour, but for the sprints what I'm going to be reading is Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. This only arrived yesterday and I've been really excited to read it because it's been on my radar since the hardback came out and it's recently been long listed for the Women's Prize, which is a prize that I'm really interested in reading as much as I can from. So I'm going to start this in the sprints and just see how far I can get. I feel like in the sprints I could maybe read half of this and then I feel like I could finish both novels out of love and exciting times. I feel like I could finish them both this evening, even like after the sprints. My McDonald's was very, very nice. It definitely hit the spot. I got a milkshake, which is in the fridge. I didn't want it right away with my meal. I have started doing this thing, which has changed my life, which is mixing in some coffee with a vanilla milkshake. And it's dreamy. It is the best thing in the world. So I'm gonna do that. I know I can't hide. just did our reading sprints on our live show and it was so much fun if you would like to watch the live show you know later on if you missed it while we were broadcasting and you are looking for some like cozy reading time now i'll leave it linked in the cards and in the description it was so nice to hear what everyone was reading and it was so nice that there were like people from different parts of the world on the stream as well i think it was so fun it's literally just made my day and it was so nice to hang out with Aoife as well i read a little over half of exciting time which is about this 22 year old young woman who goes to hong kong to teach english as a second language and there's a lot of discussion in the book around the fact that she has like a, a Dublin English so stuff like not pronouncing th sounds but when she's teaching English to these 
quite like privileged children she should be teaching them in a way where she is pronouncing like her th sounds which isn't something that she naturally does with her own dialect and i found that really interesting and i find a lot of the observations about what it is like to be an irish person in a different country particularly surrounded by a lot of English people, I find those observations really interesting and true to life. The first section of the book mainly looks at a relationship she has with a man who's like six years older than her, which isn't a huge age gap, but I think at that stage in your life and when it's about a difference, not necessarily in years, but in life experience, the difference between being 22 and being 28 is actually quite significant. I do find novels that explore relationships with messy power dynamics such as that one. I do find them really interesting and it's something that I gravitate towards and read about a lot but I felt like in that section she wasn't doing anything that I thought was was new, that it was looking at it from a different angle. I didn't really feel that at all. Whereas in the second section it's about her relationship with a woman and I'm finding that a bit more interesting. It's really quick to read so I think this was a great book for me to pick up for today. So I think I'm just going to keep reading this one, get to the end of it and then I want to read the rest of Hazel Hayes's book um, but because I'm reading that on my kindle i feel like i can read that in bed a little bit easier than i can with a physical book so i'll read that once i like get into bed to get ready to sleep i'm having such a nice day <laughs> So I have just finished reading Exciting Times and my feelings are kind of the same as they were when I last updated you about my reading. I do find the observations about being an Irish person surrounded by a lot of Brits. I do find them very true to life and I do find them quite acute and thoughtful observations about what that experience is like. And I appreciated seeing some bisexual representation in a book as well. And there were some lines in this book that I found really, really funny. So overall, this is an extremely positive review, but I somehow sound like I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. I think maybe it has suffered from the hype a little bit. I think this had like every element of being a new favourite book for me and I don't think it was saying anything that was new or hadn't really been explored before. Which like is fine, it doesn't need to be like groundbreaking. But I think sometimes when people talk about this book they make it sound like it's groundbreaking and I really don't think it is. Maybe that's because I have read a lot of similar books, you know? I do want to read a bit more of Out of Love, but I also really want to catch up with watching The Circle. <laughs> if anyone else loves trash reality TV and loves The Circle, please talk to me because I think The Circle is one of the best like reality shows out there at the moment in terms of being like a social experiment. Maybe I'll watch The Circle and then finish this off in the morning. So I'm three quarters of the way through the novel so I am going to finish it very soon and I don't know what to make of it really. There are some aspects of it that I really really like and there are some aspects of it that I find quite strange. I do find it interesting how you are following the story of this relationship backwards from the breakup to the beginning of the relationship and you realise that from the very start that they were never going to work, that this was always going to end with a breakup. And I think if you've been in similar situations like that it is very easy to look back on something and then retrospectively realise with hindsight yeah we were always fighting a losing battle. But of course you don't realise that when you're in the midst of it. So I do think that's a really interesting thing to explore and a way of exploring a relationship. What I'm struggling with is the fact that I used to follow the author quite closely online and I used to watch like all of her videos and follow her like social media quite closely and I'm really struggling to separate her from the book. And it's such a horrible thing that only ever gets applied to female authors when it's almost like they're 
accused of their fiction novels being just their own life story and I don't think that's the case here but because I know a version of the author's life you know a version that is presented on social media because I know bits and pieces about her life it is making it more difficult for me to separate the two because I do think that a novel is not your life story but there might be you know parts of it that you have taken from your own life and little inspirations that you've taken from your own life and details so when I notice those details it really brings me out of the novel and it makes me feel quite voyeuristic like I've picked up someone's diary and I'm not meant to know these things about a person and you know that's not the fault of the writing but I am just I'm really struggling to separate the two things in saying that there are some things about the writing that just some of it is so good and some of it is like oh god this is seeing into some like really intimate thoughts for me like this author has been able to articulate something that I have felt so intimately but on the other hand there are some like quite heavy-handed metaphors like the main character and her mother talking about how you just need to remove some things from a plant so it can grow and it's like okay I get it you know what a metaphor is and some of the Irish girl moving to England stuff is a bit heavy-handed as well I think some of the observations in that regard in exciting times of an Irish person being surrounded by lots of English people I think those observations are made quite thoughtfully and acutely in exciting times whereas in this they're just kind of like listing Irish things like oh 2FM oh the late late show oh a Macari's chipper like it's the kind of conversation I would have with my friends but I'm not sure I need pages in a novel that is just listing things about Ireland. I do also normally appreciate a novel where there is a main female character who is dealing with the difficulties of her past and the traumas of her past and the difficult relationships of her past. They can often make me feel quite like validated and seen. There are parts of this book that made me feel very validated and seen and there are parts of it that just felt quite clumsy. So yeah I do have quite mixed thoughts on this one. If you've read this one, I would love to have a chat with you down in the comments about it or any of the books that I've read in this reading vlog. I'm now gonna go put some food in the slow cooker because that is what Sundays are for. Really love